More fiddles, less piano, more guitar. That'd be great, thank you. Thanks very much for that. Said Irish tunes to start off there, and a mad polka for County Kerry, learnt for the, the Begleys, there, Seamus and Brendan Begley. And we're going to play some Shetland reels now. A pretty tour of Shetland. All the places that stick it. Stick it must and fog. So we're starting off with uh, a tune for Hwalsa. And uh, I'm sure it's stick it there. It must be. And then a tune for Aid. I'm not sure if it's clear there yet. But uh, we'll do a pretty tour. Of, this is the only place I think that's bright sunshine. Now, this is the set card, the Cry Dang Pussy. Davy needs mere drums, everything. But less piano and more guitar. And more guitar in front and... They're not getting guitar at the back and we're apparently getting too much at the front. I think that's about it. Bad Bay Ross wants mere fiddle. Is there still too much piano in the front? Play it there. Yeah, but half that. Some Shetland rails. Swapping a few leaps around and stuff.
Thank you. Yeah, we've got a bit more of Cooper in this monitor down here. That'll be fine. Thanks for that. We're going to play two or three tunes now. A couple of tunes for Sweden and Norway. And we're doing a couple of tours over there. We're over in tune with the full scaly. We're at Mark Lawrenson's new place there. A bit of a tour around the mountains and that. A lot of reindeer and beer consumed. But it's an ex excellent trip and games of five on there. And uh, get this. Boys, what are you wanting to do? Oh, Peter's lost his piano, we can believe that. At the back. Anyway, this is a set. Uh, the first thing is guy, the G minor Polska, and we learned it for a gang of Norwegians that came over on the spree. Ten days on the spree, in fact. And uh, I don't know if me and Grant could do the repeat that again. It was pretty full on, but we learned a lot of music. And uh, the second tune is seen we call Plan B. There's a good aim for dancing, if any of you guys is up for a bit of dancing, this is the last chance to get, get going. The festival here. Yeah, I can I can spy Twartery that's uh, is a good some good moves for this this one, plan B.
Now I'm getting warmed up now. The fingers warmed up. <laughs> Said a crazy Paul, because we're going to slow it down a pretty bit, so. Play something a bit more kind of Sunday afternoon for Jono here. He's, he's probably doing that. <laughs> There's a set of Danish tunes, and uh, first thing we learnt for a, a group of Danish folk that were stranded in Larwick one winter on their tour in Shetland. Get in a slush on the Toon Hall Bray and they were all stranded in the lounge. So we learnt this first couple of tunes for them, and then we're going to go into a polka for the playing a Jean Paul, for was the late Jean Paul. And uh, except we played a bit more like a Danish polka.
Now then, we're going to play some jigs for you. The grunty jigs. Yeah, you're going to find a bit of polka dancing there down at the front. And he gets for us going. Step her up again.
Ah, gud! Now we're going to play a, a trip, trip to Austin, the set is called. It's one of Kevin Henderson's tunes. And uh, it was after a seriously wild weekend out in Austin that uh, probably that's kind of early to speak about <laughs> early in the day. But we're going to play a tune before that, and we just got that. It's just a happy tune. It's got Glide. Uh, no, what's it called? Glide Lawton. Just Glide.
Dat was trap de trap de Austin. No done. Stevie's in a dwarm, but sorry. No done. <laughs> that was uh, yeah, back in the room, Stevie. <laughs> no done. That's <laughs> oh, that was trip to Austin. No, we're kind of coming near the end. We're set now. We're going to play a couple of mad sets of reels to kind of finish up with. And uh, the first thing is a set we call Spreefix. And the first tune is composed by Ewan Thompson here on the fiddle. Hand for Ewan. It's kind of influenced by student days, kind of going out clubbing and that in, in the 80s. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll play a set um, after that, the uh, Golden Goals at the Gibby.
Wasn't very. Hopefully see you again at another festival. Let's hear it for Full Scaly. Right, I think you'll go. I think you'll get one more, but you'll need to listen to me for a minute first, okay? Sorry, some more announcements. First of all, um, for folk who are thinking that they're going to stay in camp another night, just to make you very aware that there will be no transport in the morning. The transport will finish tonight because everybody who's been driving has been driving all weekend and is needing a rest. So there will be no buses. If you bite here all night, yep, thank you. If you bite here all night, it'll be up to you to get yourselves out of the camp field and out of Gloss. There'll be nobody going to do anything. Sorry. Ah. Right, that's the next bit is this, if there's any tents left by Thursday, they won't be left by the time that I was been doing the pack. Okay? <laughs> so just make sure that you're aware there's no food, no drink, no nothing after tonight. No drink, well, unless you've got some in your tent. Okay? Um, when everybody's leaving here today, if you would just be very patient, because obviously it's going to get a while to take... To take... Sorry. It's going to take a while to get Fox shifted. So if you'll be patient with the drivers and whoever else is around the moving or the rods, because there's a lot of Fox to shift. Um... The raffle prizes, if you have one to pick up, they're in that tent over there. Also to say, um, Brock, uh, Fock got around last night and did an amazing job at the end of last night, but you'll see that there's, and you've been really good at doing the bins. Yes, big round of applause. You've been really good at using the bins, but if there's anything lying around about you before you go, Barry Craney like lots of beer tickets then it would be really excellent if you would pick it up and put it in the bin because it'll save folk who have been working hard for two days and in fact several weeks um, one more job, okay? Uh, right, now this is to the kind of important bit and you might wonder why a wife that bides in Bray is standing up here to say these words so I'd just like to tell you that I have a strong North Maven heritage I spent my holidays in Gloss and I fell in that burn more times than I'd care to remember so that's why I'm here. On behalf, it certainly didn't hurt me. On behalf of NCDC, they would like to thank everybody who in any way has worked so hard to make this festival happen. Um, it's been going on for months and months in the planning. Obviously, the last few days have been really intense, but it's been a hell of a lot of work. And uh, they would like to thank everybody who's played any part, because without the volunteers, the festival would not have happened. <laughs> Also, a huge thank you to everybody who came to the festival, conducted themselves in such a blithe, lightsome, friendly manner. I haven't been aware of any kind of ill words or kind of, there's a few folk fed up with the toilets getting blocked, but there's nothing to do about that. But kind of, it's just been a really great atmosphere. The sun has undoubtedly helped, but the sun is not enough without the folk who are here. So to you all for mucking in, supporting, being delighted to be here, then thanks very much. That's made a huge difference. And I think in general, folk have been very considerate of other people, but then I wasn't on the campsite at five o'clock in the morning, so I can't comment on that bit. NCDC um, operates to keep North Maven a great place to live and to visit, and I'm sure you'll agree this weekend, for anybody who hasn't been before, that's exactly what it is. Glastonbury has been held to help NCDC keep going. Um, charities are needing to be more and more self-reliant. There's less and less grants and funding landing available. It needs to be more widely spread out. So that's why this has been held, and that's why everybody's bust to go, is to try and get to keep NCDC going, OK? Now, before the last period bit, I'd just like to say that I can see a few of the main culprits for this festival kind of dotted around the place so I'd like you to come down here please to the front of the stage you know who you are no Alistair is not going to get away we're not coming okay did I see Duncan Feather somewhere he's been fixing electrics and cleaning toilets all weekend I think he should be here too no no right down right down at the front and why would Marie Hay be oh yes 
huge round of applause for the organisers of this festival. Excellent. <laughs> no, 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 back, 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 back. I watched the programme after Andy Murray won Wimbledon and Tim Hay yeah, another woo. Let's hear from Andy. And Tim Heyman said that he'd gone into the back room once the match was finished, kind of in with the car dressing room or a changing room or something. And he'd said to Andy Murray, I have no idea how you did this. And Andy Murray said, and neither do I. And I'm guessing that tomorrow morning, that's probably exactly how this thought of me thinking. We have no idea how we did it. We're terrible glad that they did. And we wish them all a peaceful time over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Marie and Margaret, hands up. You can come up here if you want. <laughs> Margaret doesn't want to make a speech, which is exactly why you've got to put up with me again. Right, last three bits, okay? The motto of NCDC is we fight the slogan of the light. So these fine people in this fine band here, are going to play you the slock at light followed by glossier. Is that the right wiring? Yep. Okay, so this is a kind of a last waltz, uh, a poignant moment from Glastonbury, and then Joaquin's, you might get another pretty dance before you all go home, okay? Thanks a million for everything. It's been great.
Thanks very much. And uh, we're just going to play one, pretty one, just, just to liven up for the one last blast. And I hope to see you again in Glastonbury. And, uh, young Cooper here, he says, Man, I'm played at Glastonbury, but it's nothing on Glastonbury. <laughs> it's far more like it. Enjoyed it far more.